Okay, so everyone knows that Scott Walker is corrupt, right? Well, new evidence has been released that he's just an outright criminal. So, Think Progress explains, Wisconsin Governor and Republican presidential candidate Scott Walker will sign a bill Wednesday finalizing his controversial plan to spend $250 million in state, county, and city funds, plus tens of millions more in interest and future tax breaks, on a new basketball arena for the Milwaukee Bucks. So like, what's the problem, right? I mean, besides the fact that we're allocating tax dollars to fund sports stadiums, and that's kind of stupid, um, the problem gets a little bit more worse. So they continue. On the very day that Walker began pushing for taxpayers to foot much of the bill for the new arena, one of the team's owners donated 150000 to his super PAC. The investor, John Hams, has donated directly to Walker's past campaigns as well, to the tune of tens of thousands of dollars, and this year, Walker hired him on his national finance co-chairman. So this is one of the most explicit examples of corruption ever. Scott Walker is directly engaging in pay-to-play politics. But where's Fox News and the outrage from conservatives on this? I don't hear it. Because they've been talking about the Hillary Clinton Foundation and how with all of their donations, they've potentially been engaging in pay-to-play t- politics, which I don't think they're wrong on that. But the problem is that you're being hypocritical and you're not calling it out when it happens on your side. But you have to be consistent. Look, I don't like pay-to-play politics. I don't like corruption. I don't like bribery. When anybody does it, I don't care if they're Republican, Democrat, Independent, it doesn't make a difference. Corruption is bad, and it's not good for our system. Think about how crazy this is. This criminal, that is Scott Walker, has consistently polled within the top five GOP candidates, and things like this happen, and nobody even cares about it. He's still polling well. How does this not automatically disqualify him from the race? It blows my mind. I don't get it. Somebody has to explain to me why this is the case. It doesn't seem rational to vote for someone who's going to get an office and benefit himself. This just shows why we really need to get money out of politics. Let me give you guys a little bit of an example here. So I donated a total of $10 to President Barack Obama's campaign, $5 in 2008, 5 in 2012. Now, someone named Tom Wheeler, a guy you may or may not know, he donated a total of $700,000 to both of Barack Obama's campaigns, 200000 in 2008 and um, 500000 in 2012. Now, one of us was given a job by Obama. One of us later became appointed as the uh, head of the FCC. Can you guess which one? I'll give you a hint. It wasn't the dude who hosts the Humanist Report whose name rhymes with Schmike (laughs) Wigoredo. It's not that guy. As you guessed, it was the guy who gave $700,000 because my $10 didn't go very far. The bottom line is that there should be condemnation on both sides of the aisle. Both Democrats and Republicans should be condemning Scott Walker for this because this is a brazen example of corruption. It's a brazen example of him engaging in pay-to-play politics. And I don't see how he can still run and not have the other candidates challenge him. But do you want to know why they're not challenging him? Because they're also corrupt. So hopefully Donald Trump, which seems to be the voice of reason on the matter of money and politics will hopefully call him out and make him look bad on this because it blows my mind that this isn't going to be used against him probably by the other candidates because they don't want to make themselves look bad as well so look you can call out hillary clinton on for engaging in pay-to-play of politics i'm right there with you but do the same thing for scott walker we don't want anyone to do, to do this so if we name and shame them hopefully it will discourage them a little bit probably not but we just gotta make it known that this is not okay 